Hi everyone, welcome to Align Cloud 9. I'm Jacqueline Rose and you're watching Professional Perspective. Today I'd like to explain how I think animals think. Um, so basically, the best way I can sum it up is to explain how animals don't understand words. They don't understand English, they don't understand Spanish, they don't understand words. Now, they will understand phrases or a word, you know, things like that, like a command, because um, they'll associate it with something they do for you because you've made that connection. But they don't understand the depth of words like human beings. For example, human beings can sit and have a conversation and not move at all and completely communicate things with each other. Whereas animals have to physically play out actions in order to communicate with each other and they don't use words to do that. So they also don't understand words. Uh, the, the huge difference between animals and us is that the intelligence difference is that we could have it explained so much in a little period of time using words where it takes a long time to communicate with our animals. So that's why we can't expect our animals to know what we're asking in new environments without showing them first. So that's why loose leash walking involves lots of extra training in different places and new distraction with other things because you have to re-communicate again. Oh wait, hold on. We're going to walk loosely here too. Let me show you. You know, you have to show them. And to communicate that, you have to physically reward them for being in the position you want them in. And you have to show them to ignore those other things. So this takes time and the process can't be done in one, one training session because the dog only understands that that one training session, they're going to walk loosely or that one area even of your yard, you know. So basically to help a dog generalize that they're going to be doing this everywhere, you would have to show them multiple places until they all of a sudden go, oh, we're doing this everywhere I go, I think. You know that I'm gonna try that next time we go somewhere new. I think that's you know I, I get it. This is what we'll do. You know, and so that takes a lot of time. Now, so basically, the thing that separates humans and animals is conversation. It's words and writing and reading. So that's what makes us more intelligent is the ability to communicate like that, and and it helps us advance uh, our understanding of things in a matter of a few minutes versus you know days of training. So with that in mind, the way that animals think, you have to basically rip away the ability to communicate with English or with words and with writing and with conversation. And you have to assume that they have no idea what you're talking about, but they know what you're doing. They know what you're physically doing and you can show them what you're doing by physically doing something or for example, when you go to leave, your dog knows before you even really, you wouldn't say you're leaving or anything, you know, your dog just knows. And that's because physically you're playing out the actions that you would play out before you leave. And also, I do feel that animals have a better touch, a better in tune ability with their feelings, uh, with their, their the, the ability to, to sense the aura around other animals and themselves. And so they can feel your energy when you're sad or happy or anxious and so i feel like they have a bit of an in tune with that especially because no one communicated with them that it doesn't exist and you're crazy if you feel it so that really helps them not have that bias and to feel it and understand it's there and to kind of run with it and so that i feel like is something that the animals have a strong thing that that a lot of humans lose is that ability to feel that energy coming from other people or creatures so these are different ways that i think animals think um and how i've helped how this has helped me train animals better by knowing this and understanding this um so yeah i hope that this helped somebody learn something today uh let me know like share subscribe comment um whatever uh to let me know i should keep making these series and let me know how i did comment to let, uh, to ask questions or you can also email me at aligncloud9.com and i'll be glad to to answer your emails over a video as well uh thank you for joining me today i hope your day is as beautiful as you are and i'll see you next time